Yeah, Harsh. So as you rightly said, so this stock is under pressure. Now this is on the back of a complaint which was filed in New Jersey's district court. So the complaint was filed by Walgreen Company Kroger Specialty Pharmacy. Now it claims that company has improperly restrained a competition, maintained a share a monopoly. Also, uh, uh, there's a challenge agreement delayed generic entry entry uh, entry entirely until 2022, and complaint alleges that challenge. Perhaps improperly uh, limited generic competition through 2026. Now, if you see, they uh, they seek damages for purported overpayments and equitable relief. And court has challenged, rather, court has consolidated lawsuit with several other lawsuits making similar allegations against company. Now, if you see, a company believes that allegations were against its lack merit and will. Uh, you know, they will actually defend the litigation. So we do have uh, all these things as of now. Right. Uh, thank you so much for that, Varsha. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about DRL in just a moment because you have TVS Motors uh, numbers flashing at the bottom of your screen in terms of where the sales numbers stand. The stock is up 4% on the back of that. Uh, if we can have the graph on that one, you'll see uh, that the spike is uh, in the last... 10 minutes or so is where we've seen that spike. Uh, EV sales up 16%, three-wheeler sales up 16% as well. Uh, that's where we're at, where TVS is concerned. But Chakri, back to you on DRL.